So that's the BPC. You can go ahead and you can try that. It works for some people. In some patients, we've had complete resolution of pain. In some patients, we've had no change in pain. And some patients get a little bit better, but not all the way better. Okay. The BPC-157 is available in its oral form over the counter. So you don't need a doctor to tell you how to take it. It doesn't need to be prescribed to you, anything like that. So about, I think, a year and a half ago, the oral version got moved to over the counter. You don't need to do the injectable version. We've been using BPC now for four years, and we've used both injectable and oral. And I've never really seen a big difference between injectable and oral version in most people. Some people, the oral works better. Some people, the injectable works better. But for most people, they're going to be about equal and that's also supported in all the animal research that route of administration doesn't really matter. Whether it's on my YouTube or on my Instagram or whatever else, there's a link for the DNA Health, which is the company that we use because they have the arginate form, which is the better form of BPC. So that's the BPC. You can go ahead and you can try that. It works for some people. In some patients, we've had complete resolution of pain. In some patients, we've had no change in pain. And some patients get a little bit better, but not all the way better. Any of the other peptides outside of that, whether it's GHK copper or TB500 or the growth hormone secretagogues, all of those things, they'll need to be prescribed by a doctor because in our opinion, they should be coming from a compounding pharmacy. You can go online and find research chemical peptides. However, that's kind of a play at your own risk. And I do not advise that. And the reason is because those research chemical labs are not what are called GMP facilities, meaning they don't have the standards for ensuring sterility and purity. And we have had a ton of horror stories on people who get infections or really, really weird reactions to peptides and they go, oh, I'm allergic to BPC-157. In reality, they were allergic to something or had a reaction to something else and not the actual peptide. And there's no guarantee you're getting what you're actually purchasing. Whereas if you're with a compounding pharmacy that is regulated by the FDA, that's a completely different story. And obviously there's gonna be higher standards for purity and things like that.